get stopped at the power rune area. He's gonna grab that four minute rune, leap, and grab by the Marana. So now Jabs will be rolled in, and he's most likely dead. But the tornado does end up dead to our melt. A moon gets bashed. Bash is coming in. We need to be very careful. And that's Jabs. He's dead. There's the charge and the kill. And he even TP'd out. I'm, I'm surprised he decided to TP out there. Like, after using a mango on a bristleback, you should just say. I also, I'm wondering if we, we don't see many of these core blue man. But, I thought, Tornado in our mouth. Sitting in the jungle, trying to make something happen. And while uh, Armel, he's pretty tanky, he's on the run, the arrow doesn't hit on the moon, but the Star Storm comes through, they get the, there's the first split. and there's the primal split, they're gonna look over for moon. Gets it, it goes to off Cyclone into the air, there's the second DJ gone, KP gets one, tips get the other. Armel survived. That's what's important, they make a rotation, try to invade the stack, Earth Spirit in this game. I'm unkillable, Yasha, Fusiblade. Around the back, Tornado, just before the charge hit, and that's gonna keep him from getting hit by the arrow. KP, low on mana and health. Looks like he'll fall to the magnetize. They do it again, they kill him. But here comes Raven, stun thrown out of Febby. And like Shadow, and Febby is not away. The magnetize finishes them off, but they kill off Masara. So it's a two for two right now. Jab spotted, roll. Ooh, might have hit on two. Ties is still ringing, but eventually. Jab's life. Now, this is the problem where Dyer's your offlane doesn't contribute that Dyer much to the team. Too much far. Oh, no, getting caught. Cinder Brew gets the primal split off just before the tornado EMP comes in. They've got the cyclone onto the invoker. They've caught him with the stun from the earth panda. They will run down Moon, but do they get the kill? There is a sentry down if Moon wants to go into the ghost walk, but it's on cooldown at the moment. So, arrow comes in from Tim's and will get the finishing blow kill off this invoker and a great fight there from TNT. I know it only gets them the kill on the invoker, but anything to slow down the invoker is quite nice. You've got the axe picked up by Gabby. That means the charge. Oh my God. He's almost as fast as the wall. They're going to come through on the jabs, get the kill, looking at Raven next, who's draining the mana from Gabby, but instead they'll go after DJ. The ult from Febby used on to this crystal maiden and Gabby with a double kill. And we can see the power of, uh, once again, Morphling plus one, either it's Earthshaker, either it's Spirit Breaker, once he turns into him, like, pick off, turn that into Roche, who will respawn in 40 seconds, they already have a courier, actually two couriers inside a bit. They're going after the brew, they've got the magnetized as well as the silence, and they'll get this kill on a KP, they'll end up losing DJ, BKP's been popped by KP. Goes after jabs for a second. Moon trying to get into the high ground. Magnetize still rolling. Tornado hits onto the Morphling as well as Febby, the original copy of this Spirit Breaker. A buyback on DJ. They're really trying to make something out of potentially nothing. Raven continues to walk forward. Might even catch it. Invoker also very limited on that damage. He's more about the control. Going through with the charge. Moves up into the air, roll away. BKB's been popped by Gabby going after DJ. They'll get the kill on Crystal Maiden every 70 seconds. Follow that up with a kill on a moon. He's gone, but has buyback. Masaru's stunned on the run, trying to get back into the base. They'll buy back on Moon. See how he can help as he goes into the ghost lock. Has cold staff available. Arrow almost coming through and hitting, but Dyer's middle tower is for right now, Fnatic are just spectators to this onslaught onto the tier 3 tower top. Trying to do some damage here onto Armel, but just doesn't feel like enough, and eventually he'll just pop the cheese. They just don't have enough damage. Merge all the way through, Moon! Trying to blink away, but still dead all the way behind the ancient. They're gonna focus their attention on a DJ freezing field. More just like a chill in the wind. Yes, sir, I believe this game is uh, officially over. Fnatic, uh, they have one set of barracks left on the bottom, but the water space cow is a bit too strong. Bottom tier three in the bottom set of racks.
just trying to seal the deal here. Fnatic holding on as best they can with the Geomagnetic Rip coming through as well as the Sun onto the Brewmaster. Raven gives his intention onto the Brew, but I don't know if this is gonna be enough. He does have the Primal Squid available, goes to the Thunderclap, who actually doesn't have it available. It's lit up, but there are zero charges. They get the Kona Masaro, so he just needs a couple seconds longer. There's the Primal Split, but with the Primal Split, the GG call comes through, and Fnatic game one to TNC. TNC yeah, they, they tried something. They tried this off lane Alchemist. Um, I've seen different things in uh, different regions in EU. Bottom lane, Armel dancing around the tower. Timber Chain comes across. Spirit Breaker's right here. Masaro's now eating this viscous nasal move. Can they get the kill on the KP? DJ coming over. Dust is used. That'll send him back while over top again. Masaro's goes to the Timber Chain. They have stolen Timber Chain. They're right on top of the Timber Saw. Who gets hit by life. telekinesis right before he timber chains away and Febby will claim the life of this timber saw. And while all this was happening, I was watching the bottom Raid King. He was being chased by three. Comes oh, Beastmaster will handle this. Obviously, we do not for physic turn into Eidolons. Fortunes and Armel moving forward lands the stun. This could be first blood. Moon trying to get away. Febby purifying flames. Armel with the first blood on Moon. TNC coming away with first blood once again. This is the type of rotation you don't expect. Actually, has a full battle period. 11 minutes. No, I I'm, I'm kidding. My bad. Boys don't need it. it. And no good. A kill on the jabs. Quick kill. This could turn into a tower of a mid with ball lightning. Vortex coming through. Buyback Buy used by the Enigma. He has the black hole. He might be able to use it onto multiple heroes. They don't even need this onto the Lashrak. We'll get the kill there. And well, Heavy now getting jumped on. Telekinesis even needs to be careful. Purifying Flames coming in. And Tep go back to throw it a black hole, but he hasn't been able to do that just yet. Gabby for an opportunity to use that primal spin. BKB pop my moon, not gonna get hit by the stun. Fuji Tank comes out to finish the spear onto the Rubik, and this is the chase that we were talking about though. 
quick. They already got the jump against people. Take out Fred. They should get more. And moves in with no mana left. So he's careful. Wukong's and Black Hole. Black Hole. Wukong's is gone. And now the Black Hole is out. And it's on a two. But it's just not going to do enough as they lose Jabs and Moon. But can they still salvage the fight? Primal War comes in on the Phantom Assassin. Do they have the damage? Oh, dude, you're crazy. And falling it's all the way across. Oh, no. He's actually out of mana, but he does get the kill on Armel, and Masarvas follows that up. The one on the Tims, and it's just KP who is tracked. That's how many buybacks? One, two, three buybacks from TNC, one buyback from Fnatic. It's still worth it. Like, Storm got the last. In as well as the electric vortex is doing an RML. They're going to go to the back hunter from silence out of the Rubik to get the kill on the one. Both supports are silenced. Armel's already dead. They'll buy back on the Rubik, but they don't have buyback available on those tracks, so he's gone for 80 seconds. Primal War is done. A move. Do they have the control? They've got the token easy with the balance strike as well as the damage to get the kill. He's gone for two minutes, but he does have buyback. Man of Assassin can't fight inside the Wukong's command, but they will buy their buyback from Moon. It just came off cooldown. They want to end this game. Yeah, they get the kill on the Tim's. It's going to be 2v5 in this situation. And looking very much like it's not happening for TNC here. Wukong's on cooldown for another 70 seconds. Fnatic will take the high ground and I honestly think that they'll shut the door on this game. Yeah, the, that Monkey King move where he did not want it to go back. Uh, yeah, I believe that's game. They have uh, no buyback. There it is. Left does not have uh, enough gold, so that's to bring Fnatic to at the first place in the group. And uh, Neon is playing against T1. Yeah, Neon is 5-1, so if when Neon loses to T1, that means...